Lightning lesson. Yo, better buckle up because we're about to fly through 300 years of economic thought in two minutes. First up, Adam Smith, the OG of economics. He said markets were self-correcting, so don't touch them. That's laissez-faire, an economy with minimal government interference. Just sit back and let the invisible hand do its thing. Now to the 19th century where we get things like utility theory, which says people make choices to maximize satisfaction. Marginal thinking. What matters isn't the total, it's the next unit. Another slice of pizza? Still worth it or not? Then and there's Say's Law. Supply creates its own demand. In other words, if you make it, people will buy it. But then Karl Marx said, not so fast. His critique? Well, capitalism ignores inequality and exploitation. He thought capitalism would eventually break, which of course would never happen until it did. The Great Depression begins. Say's Law? Dead. If nobody has jobs, then nobody has money to buy things. Maybe Marx was right. But then John Maynard Keynes comes to the rescue. He said, if people stop spending, the government must. That started the Keynesian Revolution and the rise of macroeconomic policy. Interest rates, public spending, stimulus, rest in peace, Adam Smith. But it doesn't last long. In the 1970s, the U.S. goes into a recession, but government spending isn't helping. Milton Friedman and the monitors say the real problem is inflation. Just control the money supply and everything else will fix itself. The government doesn't need to do anything else. So the new classical revolution was born, and just like that, Adam Smith was back. Now in the 21st century, surprise, people aren't perfectly rational. Behavioral economics brings in psychology, biases, emotion, bad math. We're human, we make mistakes. And we finally noticed the economy isn't isolated. It's tangled up with society and the environment. Infinite growth on a finite planet? Yeah, no, not gonna happen. Welcome to the circular economy. Reduce, reuse, recycle, recover. Because the future doesn't care about profits if the earth's on fire. And done! Big Kev out!